So Team Texas is breaking up. Honestly, like, I want to sit here and act like, oh, my God, this is so crazy. This is so shocking. But the writing's been on the wall for a while. I mean, honestly, Eric Bain hinted at this in back in Fast. Was it Fastest in America or America's List? I think it might have been America's List. But someone had said something like, what happened to Team Texas? Because they it was America's List. Because someone said, what happened to Team Texas? You two team leaders, Mike Murillo and Birdman, they're the bottom two spots on the list. And Eric Bain was kind of like, yeah, it's uh, not looking too good for them. Now we're seeing Cody Baker and some other drivers, Caleb Morton as one of those included, break off from Team Texas. Not looking too good. And honestly, though, like, like I've said, it's kind of expected because, yeah, Birdman and Murillo were fast at the start of No Prep Kings when it first became a thing. Birdman was the fastest guy there was when No Prep was first becoming super popular. But they haven't really gotten better. They just have kind of stayed the same or and essentially fallen off. So is it just Birdman and Murillo now for Team Texas? Because it looked like everyone else packed up and left. Are they the only two now? That's pretty crazy. I mean, like I said, too, they're, they are two of the only others that have won a No Prep Kings championship. So they're the only ones that are left for Team Texas now. That's wild. Who'd have thought? I mean, honestly, it's kind of like the same situation with the street stuff. Team Texas was super big and dominant before the show. When the show started and they kind of just stayed the same or slightly fell off. With no prep becoming a thing, they kind of had a resurgence. Then it was the same cycle. It kind of just stayed the same and fell off. It's unfortunate, but it's just, I mean, it's crazy how you see like cycles and stuff repeat themselves. It's literally the exact same thing we saw with Texas on the street at the start of Street Outlaws. Now with Texas and no prep Kings as we're seeing no prep Kings develop and evolve and continue to grow. It's unfortunate for a team Texas, but I wonder what'll happen with again. Like the thing is too, the team stuff I know I've never thought it's a big deal in no prep Kings. I've always thought the team stuff was kind of dumb to begin with. They've taken a lot of emphasis off it, but with Birdman saying I'm like they're just another driver and stuff to me now, it's like, well, I mean, that's the one thing I don't get. So like so him saying that if they were on the same team and drew each other versus if they're on different teams and draw each other. Is he going about that race differently? Is he not trying as hard when he's racing his teammate? Like you guys get what I mean by that? It just that's I've always just thought that that was weird with the whole team stuff and no prep kings because especially with like the four hundred five and Ryan Martin, it's like yeah, Ryan's team four hundred five you can say, but when Ryan Martin wins a race and wins the championship, he's not giving money to Sean Doc Dominator Lutz, all these other guys. He's keeping on the money for himself. So I, I never just didn't really make too much sense to me obviously like helping and work on the cars and stuff that's like if you're friends with someone you're gonna help them do that regardless i feel like i just have always thought the team stuff was weird and no prep kings in my opinion